Welcome to our lesson on file compression. Here we'll learn about what file compression is, the different types of compression, and where they're used. Let's dive in. Compression is the process of reducing the size of something, making it more manageable and efficient to store. Imagine compressing a large parcel into a small envelope. This would allow for easier transport and delivery, as more envelopes can fit in a van and be carried by a postman. The same concept applies to digital data transmission, where compressing data facilitates faster transfer over networks like the internet. It also allows us to send files as email attachments, as most email systems have size limits, and helps us to store media files digitally, as media files can often require huge amounts of storage when uncompressed. When compressing data, there are actually two different types of compression, lossy and lossless. Lossy compression reduces file sizes by permanently eliminating some data, rendering the compression effects irreversible. It is widely used for video, audio, and image compression, such as in JPEG files. Various methods are employed in lossy compression, including reducing the number of colors in images. For instance, an image of an apple might have multiple shades of green. At a distance, some of these shades are indistinguishable. By decreasing color variations, a similar image with fewer colors and less data can be created, thus reducing file size. Audio and video compression follow a similar approach, identifying and removing data that is barely noticeable to reduce file size. Lossy compression offers significant file size reduction compared to lossless compression. However, it has some drawbacks. Compressed files have lower quality and their original high quality cannot be restored. Lossless compression reduces data size without sacrificing any information, allowing for the original form to be restored upon decompression. It is employed in various image, video, audio, and document formats, such as PNG and zip files. A basic example of lossless compression is encoding repeated characters in text. This shortened version saves storage space and can be reverted to its original form. Images also utilize lossless compression by grouping identical colors. The primary advantage of lossless compression is the ability to restore files to their original quality, as no data is lost. However, the primary drawback is that file sizes are generally larger than those produced through lossy compression. In conclusion, file compression is a crucial tool for efficient data management. Lossy compression offers significant size reduction but sacrifices quality, while lossless compression preserves quality at the cost of larger file sizes. Understanding these methods enables effective data storage and transmission.